Oh, chin fat. Okay. <laughs> hi, Milo. He wants to say hi. So I was actually uh, raised Christian. And I remember as a kid, the hell speeches and stuff was what really got to me. It really freaked me out. And uh, uh, there were many nights where it's like, you know, I'd go through the process of, oh, getting saved, getting Jesus in my heart, getting saved, getting Jesus in my heart, over and over again. And I would not feel better. And I would constantly be praying and being like, am I good enough? You know, am I good enough? There was the constant, am I good enough crap. Which, there, there is the teaching that, you know, you should live to be like Jesus and try to be the best person you can be. But the only way in heaven is to get saved. And the thing is, I felt like I was, but it wasn't good enough. It wasn't helping. I just really, I had did not have confidence. And it took me until just a few years ago to realize that you do not have to vie for God's love. I do think it's great to believe in Him and Christ and stuff like that. You know, like, that's a part of me that I don't think's ever gonna go away. I do believe in Jesus. But I, I don't believe that any one religion is superior, that there's any one way to heaven. I just think that it's a little complicated. I have a few pages on DA that you can read um, that I'll link you if you're interested. Can you not talking oh my gosh <laughs> I don't know what I was saying but uh, I ended up a few years ago deciding I don't agree with Christianity I don't like Christianity I don't like Mormonism I don't like Islam I'm sorry I don't like the Islamic faith um, I'm okay with stuff like I'm more okay with stuff like Buddhism and Hinduism but I'm not Buddhist or Hindu uh, I just don't really have a religion. I don't really care for organized religion. The thing about it is that there are people in it who are great people and who mean well, but even their meaning well is toxic because the ideology is toxic. Oh, honey, I, ju I just, I just want you, you know, to be saved so you don't go to hell. There, I mean, I believe that there is a hell. But it's not what it's played up to be, or that it's for humans, I should say. It's not for people. I don't think it's for any uh, terrestrial species. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, because I do believe many universes, many realms, many planets. Please forgive the loud cicadas. I have to get closer. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god, I need to get my eyebrows done. <laughs> Autism. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, I just, I do believe in God and I believe in reincarnation. As Kitten and I believe, we start off as spirits of light in heaven. And then we have the choice to come to earth. Now, I don't know if we know how our life's going to be or, you know, entirely what we're going to be. And I don't know how past lives stay with you but keep going as you recycle and stuff like that. There's a lot that I don't understand and I'm okay with that. But what I do have an understanding of is so much better. To just feel confident and know that being gay isn't wrong, being trans isn't wrong, just loving people as long as they're not children isn't wrong. Knowing that it's not wrong to have adverse spiritual views. It's not even wrong to be an atheist, you know? Um, like, I feel a little bad for atheists, because it's like, oh man, you know, spirituality, the notion that, you know, once you die, it's not over, that's like, that's a lifeline for so many people. And I can't imagine just going, oh, well, when I die, that's the, that's the end of everything, why even bother existing? I don't know how you can live with that, but, uh, what I have, to me, it's like, it doesn't matter, you know, your your beliefs. I'm not going to force anything on anybody. My personal belief, I guess, gives me satisfaction. And it's not just cooked up out of nowhere. I have it through my visions, and there are things that feel right and things that don't feel right. And if it doesn't feel right, then I know that it's not. And hell, I mean, the Bible is severely overwritten. Religion is severely overwritten, mistranslated. It has been chopped up in doctrine so many times by men and groups of men and councils and I mean there's even a section in Revelations in the Bible that talk about 
if you mess with this section of the Bible, God will strike you down, blah, blah, blah. Who are you to say that that's even... What? I'm pretty sure God didn't tell you that. that I don't think that was part of the original text. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, I, I believe that we reincarnate. And I believe that the reason we come to Earth... And to answer your question, I don't know, Draconet, if... We do go to other planets or realms. I want to say probably not, but I really don't know for certain, so I can't say. Basically, what my spirituality uh, is about is that we we reincarnate. We come to Earth. Sorry, it's hard for me to think talking out loud sometimes. I write a lot better than I talk. Is that it's about the experience. Life... God knew that Earth was going to be flawed. That death was going to be a thing. You know, that... Uh, nothing is accidental. Wow, Milo, sass. That we come here to experience life and death and pain and the trials and, sorry, my nose itches, and to just learn and kind of shape more of who we are and who we want to be and use the skills that we develop in this world in the next life or as a gift in heaven to other things like someone who finishes as an architect and earth might go to heaven and you know, build stuff in heaven. I don't know. I personally create a lot of spirits. I'm an artist. And so I'm like, maybe I'll be up in heaven spitting out spirits. I personally feel like this is my last life. Like, I probably, I'm going to be fulfilled in it. I just, when it's over, that's the feeling I have. And if I'm wrong, well, then I guess I'll be back. <laughs> but that is the feeling I have. And I believe that, you know, we have knowledge of everything in the universe. And then when we come into flesh, we obviously forget all of that. And we learn things over again. And we're different people. We're animals. Different sexes, genders, mindsets. We could have been Nazis, pirates, martyrs, nuns. You know, you never know. Uh, and then when we die, the veil is lifted. And we get all our information back. And we remember all the lives we've been. And then we go, okay, wow. I want to do it again. Let's go. It's just the joy of getting to experience and appreciate. The, the, the point of coming to Earth is that it's a challenge. And I do believe that the Earth's time is limited. And um, one day, probably, there will be a remade Earth or the perfect Earth. But that doesn't explain about other planets and how that would affect other planets or realms or solar systems. I have no idea. The best part about being a freeform spiritualist is accepting the fact that I really don't know much. <laughs> Only thing I know in my heart is that there is a God and that no one is damned. As much as we'd like some people to be damned, like rapists and uh, people like Hitler, you know, it's like it gives us joy to think of them going to hell, but I really don't believe that anybody does. I, people are sick and we all have a variation of that. And, even the really bad ones that are here and have left their mark on the world, um, it wasn't accidental. And it's, it's just all about tribulation and reward and the joy of learning as opposed to having just infinite knowledge at your fingertips. The appreciation of death and learning how to cope with it. Because death only affects the living. It's, it's not a state of being, it's a line that you cross. And I also have a thing about coping with death if you haven't read that and you're interested. So, thank you. If you have questions, please ask. I just thought it would be a lot easier to make a video than to type all of this out because I type it out all the time and it is really long-winded, as you can see, because the video is like nine minutes long. So, hopefully my face wasn't too obnoxious to look at and this weird curly piece of hair that's always behind my ear. And I'm in the shade, so I kind of have like this raccoon thing going on in my chin. So, <laughs> thank you for watching.